Hi guys, this is Elizabeth Kwan from Engedi Grove with, um, with Homesteading for Health. I am having a peanut butter flaxseed snack with a little bit of raw honey, although I probably didn't need to put any raw honey in it. An apple. Our apple tree is now producing lovely, delicious, plump, juicy apples. Um, so we could just pluck some off the tree every now and then. But I'm taking a little time reading this book. It's pretty good. Parenting from the inside out. It's about the brain and child and parenting and, and stuff. So we got back from vacation and everything um, was fantastic. Um, our plants and uh, animals are thriving. Thank goodness. Praise God. Um, we are going to go back to... We are going to be vacationing, basically. Again, we're going to be camping this weekend. And um, uh, we're going to Mayo on Thursday. So that's kind of, we're going to Northern Iowa and we're gonna go to Mayo to see if that neurologist can give us any clues or information about Nayeli as well. But the good thing is, is that the, neuro, the, the MRI came back that it, there was some healing. I would really like to know how much healing has gone on if you are just new to watching this channel. My daughter Nayeli was diagnosed, basically diagnosed with what was called leukodystrophy, with genetic demyelinating disease. They said there was nothing I could do. There was nothing I could do diet-wise to help her out, but I was just like, well, I'm searching, 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 searching. Praying to God for a miracle, um, uh, you know, and just trying to help her brain in any way that I can because um, basically that de degeneration would be taking away that um, good fat around her nerve cells. And then your nerves just don't work. So, um, and I'm going to make a full video on that, but I took away gluten from her diet and she started healing. And now um, her MRI shows that she has healed some. And I, I'd like to, the neurologist here wasn't able to tell me by how much she's healed. So I'd like to get some kind of information from the lady, the neurologist at Mayo, who specializes in leukodystrophy. And one of the main reasons why also that I want to go up there is that I want to show her my girl. She is going to be talking to people in the same way that when we had an appointment, she was just like, yep, this seems like a leukodystrophy. Maybe it's, um, maybe it is because she had gotten better a little bit. Maybe, um, maybe it was uh, vanishing white matter, but it wasn't. We did the genetic tests and, and it came back all fine. So we're so curious about what's uh, going on and if there's anything else because she still gets pimples. A little bit of pimples that come and go so I want to figure out is there something else that's going on now what I should have done I think from the beginning is take her to a functional medicine doctor a functional medicine doctor looks at root causes allergies and everything and one of the first things they tell you is to take out gluten from the diet they're also not a fan of dairy but it's the processed dairy that's the worst so that's why you know I'm, I'm glad that we have our milk cow that we're trying to trying to get to a point where we can milk her um because we just got a stanchion and and stuff so so yeah um uh yeah i've got other fun videos coming up of uh, natural swimming pool ponds and how dirt is so good for us so uh yeah stay tuned uh please subscribe if you want to see more of our updates and um, and more of our videos. Thank you.